So if you've been tuning into MSNBC lately, which you absolutely should not do, you'd see that they are absolutely distraught with the prospect of Bernie Sanders becoming the Democratic Party's nominee. And they're hoping that if Pete Buttigieg and Amy Klobuchar fall through, that Mike Bloomberg will be there to save the Democratic Party from the threat that is Bernie Sanders. Because God forbid we get someone in office who cares about the people and wants to give everyone health care and save the planet. Can't have that. So they think that the savior of democracy is the guy who's trying to ruin democracy by buying his way into the White House. That's what we're dealing with now. But what's interesting is that Donald Trump showed that he is more sophisticated when it comes to political strategy than the pundits at MSNBC. Like, this is stunning to me. Trump knows more. He has his finger on the pulse of America more so than the people who are supposed to know the country the best. So he was talking about Bloomberg and Bernie Sanders, and he discussed who he'd prefer to run against. And obviously he said he'd rather run against Bloomberg because he can beat him. Frankly, I'd rather run against Bloomberg than Bernie Sanders because Sanders has real followers, whether you like him or not, whether you agree with him or not. I happen to think it's terrible what he says, but he has followers. Bloomberg's just buying his way in. Guess what? Donald Trump is right. Don't say that very often, but he's right here. Bloomberg doesn't have real support. He is buying his way. He bought his way into third place, not by convincing people that he has the best agenda, but by running ads and flooding these networks with ads. And by basically buying complicity, because if you're spending hundreds of millions of, millions of dollars on ads at MSNBC, CNN... Do you honestly think that those pundits, those television hosts will feel inclined to critique Mike Bloomberg? If they do, it's going to be tepidly, but they're not really going to be rigorous in their scrutiny. So there's no support there. He's not convincing people. Ask anyone what policies Mike Bloomberg supports. Don't know what he supports, but I do know that he's the guy that implemented stop and frisk, which was a racist policy, and we now know that it wasn't just an unintended consequence that black and brown people were racially profiled. That was the goal. He said it on tape. But Bernie Sanders has spent years now building up this massive grassroots coalition. It's now the most diverse. It's now the most enthusiastic. It has the youngest by far. So if I'm Donald Trump and I'm self-interested and I want to get reelected, I would be an idiot to think that I'd have a better shot at beating Bernie than someone like Bloomberg. Like, what people in the Democratic Party and pundits don't realize is that if you are giving voters the option of Republican and Republican light, why on earth would they opt for the Republican light when they could just have the real thing? Like, do you think that the Democratic Party is going to be energized to come out and vote for a Republican or a Republican? I mean, Mike Bloomberg is a Republican. Uh, when it comes to ideology... Functionally, he's a Republican. He just endorsed George W. Bush in 2004 after he invaded Iraq. So do you think voters are going to lift a finger to help get Bloomberg elected because we have to defeat Donald Trump? Of course that's not going to happen. You'd have to be an idiot to think that. But if you're a pundit and you're desperate and you don't want Bernie to win, you know, you're willing to believe in anything. So, I mean, Bloomberg, if anyone is going to demoralize and suppress the turnout in 2020... It's going to be him. Democratic voters and young people aren't going to allow this oligarch to buy his way into the White House, and they shouldn't. Like, if Bloomberg's the nominee, do you think he's getting my vote? Fuck no, he's not getting my vote. At that point, I would be so demoralized that I don't even know if I would vote at all. Like, and I'm in Oregon. They get my ballots mailed to me, and I don't have to do very much. But I might not even vote just because I can't participate in the system where we have one billionaire who bought his way to the nomination facing off against another billionaire who bought his way to the nomination and both are right wing. Like, <laughs> that system is deeply illegitimate and I, I couldn't, I wouldn't feel right legitimizing that disgusting, corrupt, plutocratic system. So, I mean, Donald Trump is absolutely correct here and it's astonishing to me that he has more sense politically, at least when it comes to strategy, than people on TV who get paid millions of dollars to bloviate. I mean, look, if you listen to MSNBC and CNN, I can't imagine the way that you think about politics. Like, it's almost inconceivable to me. If you know anyone who watches MSNBC and CNN, they are poisoning your brain 
They're poisoning the brains of your loved ones. Get them to turn that shit the fuck off. Get them a subscription to any independent media news show. I don't care if it's this show. I don't care if it's another show. Like, there has to be some type of alternative non-corporate entity that talks about politics in an objective way. And look, we all have our biases, right? Nobody's perfect. We all speak from a very subjective perspective. But at least there's no corporate control. Like, I don't have to worry that if I criticize Mike Bloomberg, I'm not going to get hired at Bloomberg in the future, or he's not going to advertise on the Humanist Report. It doesn't work that way, right? I have my biases. I support Bernie Sanders. I'm a democratic socialist. I hate capitalism. But you know where I stand. At corporate media, we don't know where they stand. They try to pretend like they're neutral. But they're not neutral. They're not even objective. They're clowns. And they can't even realize what Donald Trump realizes. So, I mean, this should be obvious to everyone. Trump, of course, would prefer to run against Bloomberg than Bernie Sanders. But, I mean, if you told anyone that in mainstream media on MSNBC, they wouldn't believe you. You could support the Humanist Report at Patreon dot com slash humanist report but trust me i'd have way more supporters on patreon if that was my podcast sad <laughs>